Hello, Limp Primpers. Welcome back to another episode of Lara DJ's Limp Prim. I'm a Nigerian American lifestyle vlogger who loves living a peaceful life and I love talking about situations we might find ourselves in that need peaceful endings. It's all about the Limp Prim outfit things. And on this episode, I'm going to be finishing this painting called Kites. I'm sure you're wondering why did I call this painting Kites? But you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What do you see? Tell me what you're seeing when you look at this painting. And as usual, I start my painting with this wire mesh on my canvas so I can transfer my drawing on it. So this is what I'm doing right here. I'm using the wire mesh that I made myself from a, you know, I think it's one of the, like a fence. It's a wire for like keeping chickens in, in, in a coop. So I got this this i can't remember how many feet it of of wire it is and um it's a it, it came in a big box and i had to cut it out with a wire cutter and um i was able to get the exact size that i wanted and ever since i've been using it for my for the transfer of my artwork um as you can see here i tied some strings in it to make the um to make the squares smaller if i wanted a smaller um, um art transfer and i have another one um for diff um a, for a different size of canvas that I, that i don't have the strings on so that makes for a bigger um uh, a bigger art transfer so here i feel like i've been liking the i feel like i've been liking this wire mesh better with the strings attached because I realized that the bigger the size of the artwork, I, mm, I mean, I'm trying to do both sizes to see, you know, which one works, to see which one translates better on the canvas. But so far, I've been liking the one that I made um, with, the, with the strings attached. So, you know, if you follow along on this section of the channel, maybe you'll get to see another artwork that I did without this one, you know, with the bigger with the bigger squares and see how it is and then you can kind of judge for yourself which ones you like better the smaller or the bigger um square foot canvas so right now um so right now um, i'm just finishing up the lines uh, i should get a, i should get an art ruler for this but at this time whatever i lay my hands on we have to make it work. So I'm just finishing up the lines here. This is a very simple artwork that I did many, many, many years ago. I, this is, I can't remember the year that I put this on my graph book. And now I'm getting to put on a canvas and then um, paint it as I'm going to do right now. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way that I can put this on my um, iPad, on my iPad and make prints from this so if this is something you like do let me know in the comment section if you would like a print of this but i'm working on a website where you can actually go and get um prints from so very soon hopefully very soon hopefully by the second half of this year my website should be up and ready um if you're watching on this channel and you like things like this do leave a comment um you know encourage uh, a comment of encouragement do leave a comment of encouragement it does help when someone um says that you know they love what you're doing it helps to give you that oomph to keep going i mean regardless i'm still going to continue going because this is what i love doing um i can sit i can sit at my desk and do this all day just to see that finished product the end products oh my god it is so satisfying to watch at this time i'm actually painting now i just started painting and one thing i realized once i put the brush down to this canvas is i wanted to um prep the canvas which i forgot to do but regardless it actually came back it actually came out to be very very um nice at the end of the day so here i am i'm just putting some colors that i was able that I, you know, made decisions on, and that's what I'm doing here.
and at this time i'm i'm loving i might have to get a a, a bigger a bigger um permanent marker i might have to get a bigger um point a bigger point i feel like this one is a little fine i need something bigger it just helps to outline the lines on this artwork and you know it, it does put some finishing touches on the artwork and then i go on to gloss finish the canvas and that's the finishing touch and then fast forward to the end i am glossing it oh my goodness glossing is the best feeling in the world you know it just helps to um put a shine and revive the colors on your on your canvas so anyway thank you guys for watching this episode this is the limp primp art rate things section of this channel where i you know love 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 to put my designs on a canvas and i'm working on that website like i said where you guys can go on definitely to buy this and put this in your it's going to be so hard to part away with these designs obviously the um original works will be will be a little bit more expensive than what you'll see on my website because these are just so hard to <laughs> to let go of this is the second um this is the second version of this painting i actually um did one before with different colors and i didn't really like the colors so i decided to do another one um if this is something you like to have in your in your humble abode you can leave a comment you can send me a dm on my instagram and you know let's get to talking to see how we can get this in your peaceful home thank you so much for watching you guys like i always say in all my videos let's continue to love our neighbors as ourselves and remember to rest in peace we all need to be living in peace stay blessed you guys you see me in my next video you see me in my next one uh, uh, uh. see me in my next one you see me in my next one stay blessed bye